So today we're going to show you a game that doesn't normally happen in Ireland, but it had to happen for a special reason. So, the Irish Women's League is normally based like a league. The team with the best record at the end of the season, they're the champs. The problem was, two teams in the regular season with the same record, Olympic Celtics and Colester, so they're going to play a one-game playoff now, one of the champions of Ireland. So one thing that sort of really stands out with this game is two head coaches, Mark Reynolds for Colester, Carl Kilbride for Living Celtics, they're like lifelong besties. So it's a unique sort of little added flavor to this. Like both these teams know each other really well, but like Reynolds and Kilbride couldn't know each other any better. So that's adding to sort of the dynamics here. So at the half, Colester dominating 45 32. If anything, this would probably be up more. He slacked a bit in the last couple of minutes of, of the second quarter. But like Wallers and uh, back to the HNA, whose name I just butchered, sorry, Ava, they've just been incredible. So third quarter has just ended, and this ain't Istanbul. And Vasilis Benula is about to come to the bench for the Vissel. It's Cholester by 23. And frankly, this one's done. Tyan Notnik, Cholester about to lift the Irish Super Super League trophy. We just got 10 minutes to count down until that happens. It's all academic now. The inbounds. And Galester have done it. By a score of 90 to 62, they have won the single game playoff. They are the champions of Ireland. Ava, just
Minnesota Championship, your MVP. How are you feeling? Great, great. I don't know what to say. Perfect. Uh, like for you guys, did you expect it to go like this today? You absolutely dominated. Oh yeah, we're, it's just that everything belongs for us. So when we step up, with the good first step and we just keep going. Are you your biggest fan there on our arm? Uh, you know, it's like, what's it like to, you know, be able to come out here, bring the kid in the court and celebrate? It's amazing. So, uh, Mark, obviously, you just came into this game today. I think you were expected to be closer than that, were you? Oh, 100%. Uh, these things happen sometimes. Sorry, these things happen sometimes uh, in a one-off game. Uh, the result doesn't reflect the league campaign. It was neck and neck all the way around. We just, we just finally kind of hit a lightning in a bottle on the day. And like both ends, like obviously Ava offensively, KK defensively, but like you had I think five players in double digits at the end. Could you be happier with the performance? Like no, no, it, it was as close as we've been all year to perfection. Um, I'm not sure we'll hit that height again this year, but hey, perfect time. And, and obviously a word, because I know the other coach happens to be your best mate, Carl. Like, what was it like coaching against him today? He doesn't seem to mind coaching against me. I don't like coaching against him. Um, you know, it's a tough one. I would hate to be on the other side of that. He's a great coach, great guy, great team. You know, what can I say? And obviously we're not used to, like, one-off games, so, like, when the bank holiday happened, you knew you'd done your part. Like, what was it like on the way back from Cork? I was exciting. Um, for a moment, we thought, hey, this could be our day. And they took care of business pretty quick after the first quarter. But uh, it, it's really exciting. Knockout, playoff basketball at the end. It's something we should look at. Brilliant. And lastly, like, you know, how are you going to celebrate tonight, man? I think you know where the answer to that one. We'll probably find our way into the pub and have a couple of beers and see where it goes from there. Congratulations. Some defensive performance out there tonight. Like you weren't even leaving your feet for most of those blocks. How do you feel? I feel really good. I'm very proud to be wearing orange right now. There's no club I would rather play for right now. I'm super proud of our teamwork, our effort all year just to get here. That moment on defense, this entire game is just a representation of how hard we fight just to be here and play the way we did today. Now normally I'd ask you to feel nervous. No one looked nervous in orange today. No, we weren't nervous. We were really all locked in, in flow. We were all super connected. It's just like we all had the same brain, pretty much. I'm like, you know, how are you going to celebrate? Honestly, we're just going to go out and have a real Irish time. If you know, you know.